I think Lou didn't know she was a goose. <laughs> She was always fine with the cats and the dogs laid down with her. Be nice. It didn't matter if anybody was bigger than her. She had no problem putting them in their place. But it did take her a while to gain this confidence. One day I was contacted about a goose that had hatched with a deformed leg. It was sort of bent on a more than a 90 degree angle. She was very, very tiny, and she had some mobility issues. So after knowing that we would be able to deal with her type of disability, two of our volunteers brought her to the sanctuary. We wanted to make sure that she was as comfortable as possible. Blue lived in the house with us. She would just take a bath in the sink. I would actually carry her around in her little laundry basket. And we did our best to make sure she could do all of the things that she wanted to do. When we first put the prosthetic on Blue's leg, she wasn't a fan of it at all. She would pick at it and didn't understand how it was supposed to help her. It took some time, but we eventually got to the point where she was walking slowly on it. She started to realize that it was actually helping her and she could move around a lot easier. And then all of a sudden she just took off running with the prosthetic leg on. It was pretty emotional for all of us. And she started having a little bit more confidence in herself she would hang out with the cats and the dogs in the house. She did form a really good bond with our special needs birds. She was just happy. Lou is definitely one of the special ones. When we lost Blue, it was very sudden. She was incredibly strong and content, and despite her mobility issues, she was so excited to have new friends. She became part of the family, and I'm grateful for all of that time.